In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christ is risen. He is risen. Christos is risen. My dearly beloved, we are in the time of ultimate rejoicing and ultimate gladness because all of creation, by the love and the grace and the mercy of God, has been regenerated. Death is overcome because Christ, by his death, annihilated death. That place that held the faithful of the Old Testament, that place where God was not, that place too is overcome because Christ descended into that place and his <coughs> mere presence there had it implode on itself. Take a good look at the icon of the resurrection. You're not going to see the gates of hell exploding and blowing out all over the place. You're going to see the gates of hell being crushed and being pushed down on itself. The domain of the evil one has been overcome. His power has been overcome. He can no longer have any influence on us whatsoever. Christ destroyed his place and the works of his disciples. Those other fallen angels who followed him. The only influence that the evil one has on us is the influence that we allow him to have on us. And that's a major difference between before Christ coming and after Christ coming. The victory has already been achieved. We need to understand and, and, and know that completely and fully. When we say He's our anchor. We, are hope, we, we anchor our hope in him. It's because he met death face to face. And that meeting destroyed death. His descent into hell destroyed the evil one, his workings, and his place. And then he took the faithful of the Old Testament and took them out of that place where they didn't belong, but were held captive. Because redemption had to be made. There had to be a sinless man living on earth in order to redeem all of mankind. And that's precisely why Christ clothed himself with flesh, became one of his own creatures for the sake of his creatures. Because as I told you on Holy Friday, when he ascended Golgotha, he didn't send Golgotha alone. He ascended the cross with our sins. And his blood washes away those sins. And because he met death face to face, and death had no claim on him, because he's the author of life, he rises from the dead on the third day. And in that we follow him in a baptism, through ba in a death like his through baptism, we also follow him in a death like his because of his resurrection. And that's why we're rejoicing. That's why we're glad. We can honestly say to one another, and we can proclaim to the whole world, the evil one has no claim on us, has no influence on us. Because Christ has overcome him and all of his workings. Death has no claim on us because Christ's death annihilated death. So we joyously sing, Christ is risen from the dead. 
trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. And the period at the end of that troparion is, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen.